The Lich is the main villain of Adventure Time. He has only one goal, the extinction of all life, and he'll do anything to achieve that. The Lich is an amazing villain. He's surprisingly dark for a kid's show, and his voice from Ron Perlman never disappoints. The Lich first is a small cameo in the episode His Hero, where Billy just... Billy, the Lich's first appearance as a main villain is in Mortal Foley, where it's revealed that Billy and Princess Bubblegum trapped the Lich inside the ancient Candy Kingdom tree. The legendary Billy attacked him and pummeled him into the resin of this tree. The Lich corrupts the mind of the snail who is in Finn's backpack, and he has the snail break him out of the amber. This sets Finn and Jake on a quest to stop the Lich before it reaches his well of power and manages to end all life. The Ice King, of course, makes this very difficult, and by the time Finn and Jake reach the well of power, the Lich is already there. The Lich tries to corrupt Finn's mind, but the power of liking someone a lot keeps Finn safe. This is it. The ultimate weapon against evil. The power of... L -l 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 liking someone a lot. Finn quickly defeats the Lich. At the end of the episode, Ice King drops Princess Bubblegum into the Lich's well of power. I've decided to set you free. Go free! Uh, whoops, I've got the dropsies. In the following episode, Princess Bubblegum is rushed to the Candy Kingdom Hospital, where she's stabilized but starts acting weird. It's real that Princess Bubblegum is possessed by the Lich, whose spear entered her body after being killed. The Lich pours a bunch of chemicals together and drinks them, which transforms him into a giant Princess Bubblegum monster, who Finn and Jake defeat with the help of the Ice King. You did good, Ice King. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. Okay, I didn't kill her this time. Everybody saw that, right? Princess Bubblegum is once again rushed to the hospital, where they're unable to fully reconstruct her, so now she's only 13 years old. She's 13 years old now. Oh, dang it! Well, I'm out of here. Goodbye, everyone. The episode ends by revealing that the snail is still under the influence of the lich. In the episode, In Your Footsteps, there's a bear who mimics Finn. And in the end of the episode, Finn gives the bear the Enchiridion, the hero's handbook, so he can become a great warrior. Instead, the bear delivers the book to the snail lich. In the episode, The Lich, Finn has a cosmic owl dream where the snail uses the Enchiridion to transform and attack the warrior Billy. Finn and Jake check on Billy, who tells them they need to snatch all the gems from the crowns of power to stop the lich. It's revealed later on that the gems can be inserted into the Enchiridion to open a portal to the multiverse. I'm gonna push the lich in there. When collecting Princess Bubblegum's crown gem, things go south, and she says this. Stop! That's not Billy! It's the lich! Huh? Yep, Billy was the lich all along. In Finn's dream, that was the spirit of the lich attacking Billy and wearing his corpse to see Finn. The lich tries to persuade Finn to join him. No, child. It's all true. The book has great power. I can make you live forever. Anything you want. Just give me that book. Finn retaliates by breaking the Enchiridion. You'll never get this book! Yeah! No! However, the Enchiridion breaking forms a portal to the multiverse. Jake tries to stop the Lich, but he still manages to go through the portal, where Finn and Jake quickly follow him. In the next episode, Finn the Human, Finn and Jake follow the Lich to the Time Room, where he disappears. <laughs> Prismo the Wish Granter tells Finn that the Lich made a wish. Yeah, he wished for the extinction of all life and I did it. I guess it changed his timeline or something. And to counter this, Finn wishes that the Lich never existed. I wish... The Lich never even ever existed. This creates an alternate universe called Farm World, where magic doesn't really exist. In this world, Finn is just an average human, and he stumbles upon a skeleton with the crown. An old Marceline explains to Finn that... 1,000 years ago, my beloved friend, Simon Petchikoff, gave his life to save this foolish, unworthy planet from annihilation. A frightful bomb was poised to bathe the land in mutagenic horror. But using his mastery of ice and snow, Simon froze the bomb in mid-flight, only inches from the ground. The bomb fell on Simon and suffocated him, and Finn steals his crown from Marceline. A bunch of hijinks ensue, with this world's destiny gang burning Finn's house with his family inside. In the next episode, Jake the Dog, Finn uses the Ice King's crown to try to save his family, turning him into Ice Finn. Ice Finn accidentally sets off the mutagenic bomb and releases the spirit of the Lich, which possesses Jake the Dog. 
the original Jake still in Prismo's time room makes a counter wish. Okay, I wish, the Lich's wish was for me uh, and Finn to go back home to Ooh. I can work with that. All right, this has been nice. See ya. I wish for the extinction of all life for Finn and Jake to go back home to Ooh. Huh? No, wait! That's not what I wish for! Sorry, guy. You only get one wish. Hey, Jake. Did you see that? Monkey spot. This sets everything back to normal and leaves the Lich stranded in Prismo's time room. In the first episode of Season 6, Wake Up, we get a checkup on the Lich while Jake is partying with Prismo. Since we last saw him, the Lich is a lot less active. Yeah, but why isn't he killing everyone in the room right now? Controlling our minds, making us rip each other's eyes out while we buttercup one another. Well... The Lich's primary function is to cause mass death. And since he can't do that while he's trapped in my time room, he's stuck in a standstill, like a machine without a purpose. I'm so scared right now. Yikes! Finn and Jake later ask Prismo to help them commit a cosmic crime to get to the Citadel, where Finn's dad is. Prismo has them retrieve a sleeping old man, who's revealed to be Prismo's real body. And if waking him up will kill Prismo, which is a cosmic crime. It still feels like a bad idea, man. Psh, what could go wrong? Wake up. Whoa, wait, I've changed my mind! As expected, the Lich mucks things up. He not only wakes up the old man and kills Prismo, but he pretty horrifically murders the old man. The Citadel Guardians quickly show up and take the Lich to the Citadel, where Finn and Jake follow. In the following episode, the Lich is imprisoned inside the Citadel, but this seems to have been his plan, as he begins to corrupt the crystal and the Citadel's prisoners. The Lich eventually breaks out of the crystal. Fall. <laughs> you are alone, child. There is only darkness for you, and only death for your people. These ancients are just the beginning. I will command a great and terrible army. And we will sail to a billion worlds. We will sail until every light has been extinguished. You are strong, child. But I am beyond strength. I am the end. And I have come for you, Finn. Uh, <gasps> Horrifically enough, flesh starts to grow on the Lich's skeleton, rebooting him as Sweet Pea, a cute and a harmless baby. Sweet Pea, while being harmless, still contains the spirit of the Lich. At the end of the episode Gold Stars, when he's threatened by the King of Ooh, the spirit of the Lich takes over. Stop. Whoa. I, I have learned, learned much from, from you. you. Thank, Thank you, my teachers. And, and now for your education. Before there was time, before there was anything, there was nothing. And before there was nothing, there were monsters. Here's your gold star. <laughs> However, after this, the Lich returns to mostly being dormant. In the prequel episode Evergreen and the Comet, it's revealed that the Lich was another version of the Catalyst Comet, and it caused the KT extinction that killed all the dinosaurs. I've embodied all that is good and evil. In Season 7, during the episode Crossover, it's revealed that Farm World still exists. After you wish the Lich never existed, you got zapped in an alternate wish reality where magic doesn't really exist. The crown makes you crazy and you ice everything up like a dumb bozo, which sets off the mutagenic bomb which releases the spirit of the Lich anyway. But then, this reality's Jake made a counter wish which supposedly fixed the problem, but as it turns out, it didn't really. And that wish reality continues to exist. Icefin is currently using that world's Enchiridion to create a portal to the multiverse. And something is interfering with Prisma's ability to stop him. Finn and Jake get to the farm world universe to kill Icefin, but they are unable to go through with the act. And then this happens. He looks possessed or something. Ew, boy, here we go. That's my body, dog! My friend, you return! <laughs> this was all his idea!
idea. Come on, that's the lich. He's evil. He's not even trying to hide it, bro. The farm world lich was behind Icefin's plan to make a portal of the multiverse. And the farm world lich wants to travel to every universe and kill all life. <laughs> what dimension is this? All of them. That's great. Then we can live everywhere. Everywhere you will die. <laughs> what? You, your family, everyone will die. Over and over, mountains of broken bodies beneath the wheel. The Lich tries to kill Jake, but Finn's grass sword arm cuts off the farm world Lich's hand, and Jake pushes it into the multiverse portal, copying it into every universe. Mathematical! Huh? Finn manages to get Ice Finn to calm down, and together they use the maid weapon to destroy the Lich. He's a maid, a maid, he's a maid, a maid, he's a maid! Housekeeping. In the season 8 episode, Elemental, the Lich doesn't really make an appearance, but there's a flashback showing the previous Elemental's embodiments living before the Mushroom War that destroyed most of humanity. The Elementals saw a vision of a catastrophic event, and the Lich is shown in their vision. Later in the flashback, we see the mutagenic bomb explode and release the spirit of the Lich. In the season 9 episode of Whispers, Sweet Pea tells Finn and Fern that there's a monster telling him he's evil. Eventually, it's revealed that this is the Farm World Lich Hand, containing the Lich's consciousness after being sent across the multiverse. The Lich's spirit inside of Sweet Pea starts to reawaken, and Finn follows the Lich Hand back to the Lich's Well of Power, where it gets the upper hand, no pun intended. You've bested me in many worlds, child, but I always return. Yeah. You're so evil it's boring! You're basic, man! Yes, while the mortal world doubts and questions, I know exactly what I am. I am the ceaseless wheel, the last scholar of gold. I am your doom. Schoolman. Eh? I too am doom. Sweepy appears, seemingly joining with the Lich, before declaring that he's good and killing the Lich for the final time in the show. In the Adventure Time spin-off, Distant Lands, Finn and Jake are dead and trying to reconnect in the Dead Worlds, while New Death is trying to destroy all the Dead Worlds and cut off reincarnation. Towards the end of the episode, it's revealed that the Lich Hand has been puppeting New Death all along. Finally dead, aren't you, child? The spawn of life and death is a creature without purpose, fit only to be a pawn in my eternal quest to end all life. Finn and Jake know this means New Death must be killed, but in doing so, they'd become death and be tied to those responsibilities for the rest of their life. So they fight over who will sacrifice their existence in order to stop the Lich. New Death is accidentally killed by Mr. Fox, who becomes Death, and is seemingly happy with this role. The Lich's hand quickly tries to join forces with him, but Jake shuts that down, seemingly defeating the Lich hand for the last time. However, there are now an infinite amount of them in the multiverse, since in Crossover it was copied to every world. In the sequel show, Fiona, Cake, and the former Ice King Simon end up stranded in a world devoid of all life, with their universal travel remote dead. This world's beam mode tries to recharge their remote, but dies in the process and Fiona, Cake, and Simon travel to a friend Bimo mentioned named Jerry to break the bad news to him. Oh look, Jerry's real! Run! Oh. Jerry is revealed to be the Lich. If you haven't connected the dots yet, this is heavily implied to be the universe Prisma created when the Lich wished for the extinction of all life all the way back in Finn the Human. According to Bimo, this universe's inhabitants all died at once, then the Lich showed up. <clears throat> One day, everyone was a skeleton. Then, Jerry came. All the gems required for the multiversal portal to open are still in the rightful place, meaning that this universe never had a portal to the multiverse form, which means that the Lich in this episode isn't from this world. He's also still wearing Billy's corpse back from when he wished for the extinction of all life. All life in U was restored when Jake wished the Lich sent them home. However, like Farm World, it seems that this universe continued to exist. The Lich talks to Simon briefly. Ice Wizard, so you have risen again. <laughs> In olden days, I would have rewarded your insolence with death a thousandfold. I think we're not in danger. He seems really depressed. Jerry's freaking terrifying! He's called the Lich. The last scholar of gold. He must have succeeded in killing all life here. 
So, yeah, like everyone else in the show, the Lich is kind of depressed. Simon uses the Lich as a battery to power his spell, and he ends up accidentally getting to see Gold, a being of pure chaos, who in Adventure Time, Simon's fiance Betty, merged with an order to save everyone. When Simon goes to see Gold, the Lich follows along. In the following episode, Casper and Nova, Simon ends up with the Lich in Gold's realm, and it's revealed here that the Lich has been worshipping Gold all along. Great embodiment of chaos, hear me. For ages untold, I studied your ways, devoting my existence to you. I strove to be your vassal on the physical plane, to build mountains of bodies in your honor, to extinguish all life. And in my universe, this I achieved. But it gave me no satisfaction. In succeeding, I lost all purpose. I know what you mean. Why? Why must this be? <laughs> Hear me, Gulb! The Lich is angered by his lack of reward for his successful mass extinction, and his temper upsets Gulb. No! Answer me! What more could I have done? What do you want from me now? That was horrific, and that's the last we see of the Lich. The Lich's fate here is amazing. Despite succeeding in his mission for the first time in the series, the Lich's story ends all the same with a bitter defeat. However, with Fiona and Cake Season 2 being announced, it's possible we'll see more of the Lich in that. It's always a treat every time we get more Lich content. He's an absolute gem of a character, and he's one of my favorite villains ever. Despite his simplicity, he's executed very well, and overall is pretty creepy. Thanks for watching this video. It's pretty amazing to be able to talk about one of my favorite characters in this much detail. If you did enjoy this, please subscribe and consider donating to our Ko-Fi. You can donate however much you want or subscribe to a membership to get early looks at our animations, comics, short stories, games, and more. That's all I have for you today. Stay safe and remember, the best season of the year is... Fall.